good day, hope you're having a good one. I'm coming from the southern state of Kerala and specifically in Thiruvandram or Thuruvananthapuram. This is my couch surfing host's place. Uh, have a look at the view. Pretty good. Just walk around. Then come over here today and do some exploring around the city. It's my last day in India, so get some good footage and bring the camera along. Let's see how this goes. Nice view. But first, coffee. Indian coffee, I specifically read about it online. Check it out. So, just went to a coffee place, got an Uber here with a friendly guy from the couch over I'm staying with. One guy came back from Qatar last night and uh, shared an Uber with him, nice friendly guy. Got a coffee, now I'm going to explore some more buildings of the city, see what Thurur Bantam Purum can offer. Let's have a look. Nice Mahindra Jeep. Some vintage cars rolling around. Corporation of the Rubin at the bottom. Cool. difficult to walk around here. You have to walk up the street. Right Stumbled into a park of sorts. It's pretty nice. Lots of flowers. And the biggest Indian flag I've ever seen in my life. Let's see if you can check it out from here. I think it's the biggest flag I've seen in any country before. Look at the size of that. Lots of red flags in Kerala, being communist. Main party here is communist. So loads of red flags every city you go. Which makes it kind of interesting politically. How'd that happen? Here's a better look of the gigantic flag. <laughs> Blow in the wind. Want to get closer to it. Is. Let's get close to this flag. Some interesting work.
Oh, fuck, it is hot. search for the gigantic flag. I can see it. Nearly there. Sizes. Is that the biggest flag you've ever seen? Park. Dentist Day 2019. Probably the best thing I've seen throughout London so far. Made it to the gigantic flag, bit of a walk, but look how big this thing is. Pretty big. This is Trivandrum from above, kind of. I think there's seven hills in this place. And this is probably one of them. There's different buildings. Nice architectural buildings on most of these hills. I don't really know what they are. I think the last one was an art museum. This looks something like another museum or auditorium, I think. A pretty nice park walk around see if I can see what it is being from Ireland you don't really get nep you never get used to the amount of people in this country they're always everywhere I'm used to just seeing a person now and again but no matter where you go there's always about 24 people in every corner here check this out Nice and cool in the shade. Free Wi-Fi in this area as well, so lots of younger people taking advantage of that. Chilling away from the midday sun. Nice park. Coming around to the front of the building, see what that's like. Flag rules all. I think that far, the fact that they're so far away from Delhi that they have to put lots of patriotic things around the city so they don't forget that they're in India. Massive. Walking through a park, just checking out the scenery. I think I'm going into a zoo. Let's check out this building up the stairs. There is some good architecture around this place, that's one thing for sure. Have a look at this. I think this is the zoo. Pretty old and nice and looking. 
one problem is everything is 200 rupees for foreigner, 200 rupees. 20 rupees for Indian, 200 rupees for foreigner. And I don't really want to withdraw much more money today, consider it's my last day, so let's see if I can get in for free. But I doubt I will. Nice building though. Photos inside, unfortunately, so only got some images from outside. I just went to pharmacy, got a few things, preparation for this flight, and now I'm going to check out a cathedral. Walking the streets of Trivandrum. That's pretty busy, midday heat. There's a mosque in the distance. See if I can find this cathedral. Just walking up dual carriageway, as you do, because the pavements aren't very good. Where is the cathedral? It's somewhere around here. Joseph's Metropolitan Cathedral. Busy. Can I get in? I think this is some sort of memorial. This is some sort of memorial to Indian war veterans. Big old mosque. This is a very busy part of the city. Hectic as hell. Check out the church in the distance. Lots going on. Got a church. Busy roads. Big mosque. I think there's another church down here. o'clock in the day, extremely hot. Another church. St. Mary Queen of Peace Basilica. Beside the Catholic Syrian Bank. Curly University Library. Something to do with Syrians and Catholicism in India, I'm not entirely sure of. Cross the road so you can get a better view. Ah. Try and cross the road.
University of Carla. Lots of red flags. Pretty top of green. Yep, communism. Not so much. Who's that guy? Yeah, so this is Trivandrum or Toro Vedanta Forum on a hot sweaty day in March. Red flags and old buildings. Back across. Okay, let's go. One side, now the other. University. Young Scholars Congress, sixteen seventeen. So, I'm going to walk back now, it's about 45 minutes or so in the midday heat, but got to go, go get uh, my stuff prepared for this flight. I have to fly from Trivandrum, Doha, Doha, Istanbul, Istanbul, Amsterdam, Netherlands for four days, and then Amsterdam to Dublin. Got to get my shit together and get back to the house. See how this walk goes. Mother Teresa. Just got to the airport after the sketchiest walk ever for about 40 minutes. Up the motorway against traffic. Time for a beer, I think. So this is Tremandum Airport. Have a look. Nice and clean and modern. Small terminal, but it's good. Definitely been worse. Where's the bar? Take my last beer in India. I walked to the airport for about 40 minutes. It was one of the sketchiest journeys, definitely by far, up along an hour road. Then I stopped at one place just to get some quick food. And a guy gave me a lift on the way to the airport, so lots of friendly, friendly people in Trivandrum. But it's going to be the end of this vlog. I'm flying to Doha right now, and be there for about four hours, then on to Istanbul, then Istanbul, Amsterdam, and then some uh, stop in the Netherlands for a few days. So, from Trivandrum, peace out.